all this talk about women directors, it's just a very small percentage in yes. film and television. How do you think that is in documentary films? Uh, I think the reality with documentary films is there's less money in documentaries, so I think because of that there are more women. Six percent of directors are women who have directed the top 150 <laughs> top grossing films in Hollywood. That's where you see a lot of money, when there's a lot of money in those top grossing films and there are fewer women. So I think what we need to really work for is where there's money to have women represented at the table. But with independent films and documentaries, and I think actually television too, there's more women and they're pushing the envelopes in more interesting ways, both in terms of content and also the personnel and the people who are making the decisions. There's more diversity, there's more variety, there's more representation of gays and lesbians, of women, of people of color in television than there is in those big Hollywood films. Yeah, George Clooney was just saying now just replace the male roles that are written for men and put women in the leads. Well, that's a step. I'll take it. <laughs> is it stranger to be doing a show on trans or being a woman director? All the same. It's all about just kind of uh, upending our expectations of the way things are supposed to be. I feel like Directing is one of the most fun things you can do. I stayed up all night till five in the morning shooting a women's music festival for the past week. We had the Indigo Girls, we had Peaches, we had Sia. We had all of our best friends, all the actors I love, Cherry Jones, Angelica Houston, and we, and we, and we made art for a week in the woods. That's protagonism, that's privilege, that's why men hold on to the camera. It's the funnest thing in the world. They're not gonna like give it to women uh, just cause women say they want it. You have to take it.